I have some questions. And, yes. Um, you've answered some. Yes. But then I will ask some other ones. For example, I look at plane crashes. Miles Monroe, Bimbo Dukoya. Now, this is, this is um, a plane crash. They are children of God. And from the premises of Job, we understand that God doesn't allow anything to just happen to his children. They were both coming from conferences where they went to speak. And you said, it's the devil. This is not man, most likely. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the pilot made it an error. I don't know. This is not the devil because I don't believe the devil just has access to God's children just like that. So are we saying God allowed it? No. Oh yes, God allowed it. Why? Thank you. Why does, because if we know that God is saying, I keep you. Because those are the questions I ask sometimes. Because God. man, because man walked in disobedience. Well, they, they were not walking. Well, they, they, could, don't know. they could have been. Okay. Let me answer that question. I personally, I buy your meal, because I do not believe that God informed them or pre-informed them. I can bet on my, but they are dead now. God will have shown them a vision, a dream, alerted them. God told Paul, God tells us and informs us what may happen. A few of us sometimes just say, no, 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 Lord, I, I ask. I, do you know how many times I've seen dreams and I've canceled my trips? And I said, no, I'm take that road. I want to take that place. God knows how to um, prepare us, inform us, prevent us from doing things. Not that, okay, if my job is to inform you, to reveal to you, or to send a prophet to you, your daughter, your son, someone close to you, or to come directly and say, do not go that route. He did it with Moses. He almost killed Moses. It was the prophet that saved Moses. Paul almost lost his life on a boat, but because he was only one going there. Jonah, God told him, do not go to, go to Nineveh. He went to escape. Jesus almost fell upon him. So he said, I'm the reason why this happened. No, I'm the reason. So there are many other deliverances in scriptures that tells you a lot more about that. Many people don't want to believe that. Hi, you make a study, do not. I hear from God always. Sometimes I also disobey Him. Not willingly, but because I also just do it arrogantly. That God's responsibility is to protect me. I, I, I woke up this morning, had a dream that I shouldn't do this thing. I saw some evil. I just said, No, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. And I'm going, and I now see gunshot through. Yeah, yeah. And I saw it two weeks ago. I saw it five weeks ago. Now, I may, I may escape unwounded, but you know, that didn't mean that God didn't warn me. I believe strongly, I strongly believe that God wants his own people. Now, because this has come as a death and it's gone, we will not have the full details of how God warned them, either through their spouses, either through them. But God will not abandon his own. No, God will not. But because he's his own also, um, like Jesus knew the cross was going to come. So he knew he was going to go to the cross. And he told his people, it's time, I'm going to the cross. They said, you can't go. You, you get that point now. No, this is the path I have to take. He knew and he went through that. You know, so that's not their own crucibles or their own crosses. But I strongly feel that that's not the, that's not the devil ruling or winning. And that doesn't mean that God is not powerful. I, I believe personally, personally. God, that God could have saved them, sir. Even if God says, and there's a mercy of God that uh, 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 Well, there's nothing God cannot do. God can do all things. We know that. But God sometimes will not do it. That's why God is sovereign. We cannot question him. So that part is the sovereign will of God. That oh, yes. No, that is, so, there's something called divine sovereignty. No matter what you do, hit your head on the wall. It's God. God is God. Kill yourself. That's your business. We cannot question him. But I know that he's faithful to his word. He preserves his own. He protects his own. And he warns us. Now, when some things happen like that, like this instance, for instance, what you want to do is the way that will be done. You sit in the heavens, Psalm 115, verse 3. You do what pleases you on earth. I give, I, I, I submit my will to yours, Lord. Thy will be done. So you submit to God's will in that instance. I say, well, it's God's sovereign will, sovereignty. And that's where God rules. But I believe that God may, may have prayed from them. Why he didn't save them? Plane crashes are extremely difficult for me. You get the point? I mean, who, do you know how many times God saved people from plane crashes? That you're supposed to go, you miss your briefcase, you miss your this, you get to the airport, you miss your flight, and then you now hear something happen. There are many ways that God saves. Many ways. So I strongly believe that, you know, that, that's what happened. 